what is going on guys welcome to another video on a absolutely stunning day which apparently it shouldn't have been like this but in my opinion we're in the better off of south wales i'm back down st govoyland's chapel just because there's two other locations i want to see on this stretch of coast anyway and then uh i may have another video planned that maybe uh maybe a cool little watch it'll only be a little video if it is it but it should be good if I can get it. It does sound um, fairly windy, so fingers crossed then too windy so you can hear me on the phone. If not, I'll have to switch the camera. I'm gonna get my walking boots on now, guys, and um, let's get into this video. Absolutely gorgeous day, guys, like I said. It's meant to be um, really, really overcast. Another photographer over there. Um, but it's come out quite amazing, actually. Really nice. So let's get the the chat ball now. So if you look just down here, guys, here is the St. Gilboyland's chat ball, which is built into the cliff, more or less. Absolutely surreal location. One of my favourite for this part of Wales. Very quiet here today, guys, as well, which I wouldn't really expect then. And then you're in early. It's like 11 o'clock. And it's still half term, so everybody's at Tembe, which is another amazing part. Which I was going to go to, but because there was a wall rusty, but apparently it's gone now, so I don't think I'm going to bother. Nothing in the chapel itself, guys, but still a nice, nice location. It's nice from this side. Um, I did upload a video from there a couple of weeks ago, but it was not that good. Just setting up the camera for this angle, guys. I'm going to have to take my hoodie off now. I think about wearing my coat and I'm glad I didn't know. So I'm absolutely boiling up. What a nice day for it. So guys, I should have kept my mouth shut because there's no end of people showing up now, but is all good. What a glorious day it's turned out to be. I'm currently taking some just portrait shots at the minute. That's what seems to be the best. And we're going with 13 seconds, f stop 13 and 100 ISO. I should be going f stop 14 really, but I don't think my lens will allow it. So guys, just one or two more shots here and then we're going to go on top of these and these to get some overview shots. That photographer was really nice actually, it was nice to have a chat with him. I may go down and try to get his Instagram, if he has one that is. So I'm currently using s stop 14 now guys, same settings as earlier though, pretty much. And the shots are coming out really nice actually, no clouds to disturb the shot, the long exposure shot, so that's good as well. So guys, it's starting to get really, really busy down here. Um, and it was hard to take shots, to be honest. So I'm just walking up now, kind of open the other locations, I'm going to be like that. Um, but I opened my mouth way too quick, I think, about it being quiet. Just look at it from here, guys. Now, 
Now this is a view I've never took before from guys, even though this is uh, the second time I've been here I think. I wonder where that photographer went. Oh here he is, I see it. So guys, I'm not even going to bother setting all the lines this says do not and it's military. But look! Wow! It is literally a tank, I think. And there's literally no fence at all. That is mad. If I had a bit more, uh, you know, I would go over there, but I know I'd get caught. And there's a lot of people around today, so it ain't worth it. So we're just across from Hunt, Hunt Man's Leap, guys. And look at this. But I know it's really shadowy, but that is just... I love West Wales so much. It's up there with North Wales for me. And then the tank is literally over there. You can see it in the distance, but wow, we, we're going to be taking some photos by air for a bit, guys. Coastal now, guys. I'm really, really itching to get on there and see how I'm going to be a good boy today and not bother. This is uh, close enough for me. Wish I had my zoom lens on me though. But I'll just crop the pictures and hopefully get something decent for that. So, guys, wow, we, but this is Huntman's Leap. And wow, that's all I gotta say. I've wanted to visit here so long, but because of COVID restrictions and whatnot, I haven't been able to. Oh my god, the camera ain't even doing it justice in 4K, guys. This is just incredible. Wow. This, guys, this is just sunny girls. I know I keep on repeating myself, but I don't know what to say. It is just sunny girls, isn't it? Wow. So this image was quite challenging, guys, because of all of the shadows. I'm still taking a few more just in case, but hopefully I get at least one decent image of this place. Because this is one of my well, all time favourite locations I wanted to do in West Wales and just now got around to it. I can't believe I was so close to it. The first time I came to St. Kilv Islands. So yeah, this is the second time I've been. Wow guys, so you'll probably just see the cinematic views from over there and I can record it because as soon as you get to the end it is windy as hell and guys, my camera or the phone camera is not doing it just fit. And I thought it was going to be a cloudy day red, which is amazing. There are some clouds, but at least there's blue sky as well to make the photos look a little bit more interesting. So guys, just checking out Google Maps. There's actually three other locations on this stretch of coastal line. And me being a numpty, I thought I'd charge my other battery. So I've got two low batteries on the camera. So I've got to be very slick with the shots, but at least I got my phone, which is good. And we'll just see how it goes, because like I said, I should get all the shots I want. Uh, I just gotta be very, very selective. It's just so nice though. So, so nice. So guys, the first location we're stopping off, sorry about the wind, is called the Cauldron. 
Now, I don't know why that is. I'm assuming it's going to be some sort of circle bowl with land going around it, you know, like, see? Um, I'm really locked just because I want to be surprised. There's another one, but they, ALW did tell me what they were called, but I forgot. Um, then we've got, I can't remember the second place. The second place? The second place. And then we've got the Green Bridge of Wales which I'm excited for. It's sort of like, um, it's I think Doors in Dorset, is it? I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, I'm excited to photograph that one. And I wish I could go see them. I kept it myself at the minute, because the old Kirk would have done that. I did it in Cornwall with the shipwreck last year, but that had to be done. So guys, I didn't actually mention this one. But this one's apparently called Bull's Laughter Day. I'm sorry if I can't hear me, but look at this. I think you've gathered, guys, that I'm amazed today. But the water is just ah, so calming. You know what, what a bad couple of weeks I've had, guys. So it is amazing to come here and see. And obviously, the other side where the Green Bridge of Wales is. I am going to quickly take some photos here, guys. So guys, after a bit of a walk, we are now at the cauldron and I now see <clears throat> why they call it the cauldron. Sorry, dry throat. Um, the other side is obviously where we just came from, which was Bull's Laughter Sunning. And this took about maybe a 10 minute walk. Nice though. So we're just approaching the uh, culture now. I'll show you when I'm actually there. So guys, this is why it's called the cauldron. This is literally just a circle in the middle and all. Holy wow, wowza. That is incredible. Time to get some photos then, I think, guys, and then uh, the Green Bridge of Wales. So like I said, guys, this is the cauldron. Obviously, because it's sort of circular shape, that's why it's called the cauldron. And to be honest, guys, I know you guys love the band and stuff, but just recently, or over the last year or so, I've had so much passion for landscape and stuff. It's really nice to have a passion again for YouTube and to find a new light on it. I know you guys love the band and stuff, but I've just really got into this and hopefully I will get back to the band and stuff someday. Look at the view from here, guys. Wow. I may not be able to get a decent photo, but at least I got this really good footage. Wow. Incredible. Just making my way to the Green Bridge, but it's looking rather busy over there. Hopefully not too bad, but if it is, it is. I'll have to talk in front of a camera and look like an idiot and get on with it. Wow, look at these rocks, guys. Very impressive. Coastal erosion, I suppose. So, guys, I don't think we're all that far away now. That's what it looks like on Google Maps. You know, you keep on, you kept on telling me it was 57 minutes. I was like, how? It was taking me all the way back to the car park, I think, to get in the car, but I'd prefer, prefer to, to walk on this coastal path. And um, yeah, that's the view and bay for it, look, for the Green Bridge of Wales. So glad the day came out as well as it did. Oh, here we go, guys. Look at that. Oh, wow. Welcome back, guys, to the Green Bridge of Wales. And look at that. Look at the view. 
I can't wait to take photos of this. Obviously, all of these locations today, other than St. of Island's Chapel, I've never been to, so it's been a crazy, incredible experience for me. This is just, wow. I'm speechless, absolutely speechless. Best part is, guys, I got this place to myself. I may try to get some pictures of the viewing point on the viewing point, but I think my lens is just too wide for it. But. Right then guys, I'm pretty much done here. This has been the Green Bridge of Wales. We went to St. of Islands, the Cauldron, Huntman's Leap as well. We've had a right nice day. Don't know how many miles I've walked, but it was worth it. For these incredible views and this incredible sea. Fresh air and how blue it is. If you're new to the channel guys, please consider subscribing for more videos like this, you know, adventure videos, tour, tour videos, I suppose, photography videos, whatever you want to class them as. This has been Southwest Wales, sort of, you know, all south uh, Pembrokeshire, more or less. If you are new to the channel, like I said, please consider subscribing. Smash the like button, guys, because it helps you in the algorithm. Also, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.